Hey everyone, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly and so many of you have had questions about the HTC Thunderbolt on Verizon and the 4G card, the SIM card that's required for 4G operation. I wanted to let you know that I just got my SIM card. It's activated. The phone is now activated. This is the phone I've had for about a month. It finally got activated and I finally got a SIM card for it and I wanted to show you all the process of putting in the SIM card. After we do that I'll turn the phone on and I'll do a quick download speed test to see what kind of speeds we can get on Verizon's 4G LTE network. So here we go. I'm going to pop out the SIM card and uh, that's what it looks like. It's the same size and shape as SIMs from AT&T and uh, T-Mobile and out with the battery. The SIM card gets installed under the battery in a little metal tray right there and it goes in like this. So there's the SIM card. You slide it in put the battery back in and put the cover back on and now I will turn it on and when we come back and the phone is booted up I will go ahead and see if I can get a um, speed test done I'll use speedtest.net for that speed test so I'll be back in just a moment all right, it turns out that there is an app that you need to download for speedtest.net. Here it is. I went ahead and downloaded it, did some tests. I'm going to go ahead and test again. And uh, you can see that I am getting 4G and I have four bars. So uh, we are getting LTE. This is the download test. And it's not doing, you know, as uh, great as it could be, but. Uh, 1.3, 1.4 megabits download uh, is not the fantastic speeds that we were expecting but you know in the overall scheme of things it's not too bad. The upload speed test was 3.74 and this also tests the ping that's the time that it takes for the signal to go out and back to the phone and that's about a quarter of a second about 251 milliseconds all right, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.